Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to working out this value here, e of x squared, often known as the expected value of a random variable squared. Now, I'll take you back just for a moment to what you should already be familiar with, and that is e of x. Remember that e of x was equal to the sum of the observed values x for a random variable times the corresponding probability. So, for example, if we had this discrete probability distribution table for a random variable x, then we've got these observed values. I've just selected 3, 5 and 6. Obviously, it can be any set of values with the corresponding probabilities of a quarter, 5 eighths and 1 eighth respectively. Remember, those probabilities should always add up to 1. So when it comes to working out e of x, remember what we did was the observed value, 3 in this case, times its associated probability, a quarter. And then we would add to that 5 times 5 eighths plus 6 times 1 eighth. Well, it's a very similar thing when it comes to working out the expected value of x squared. If we were to construct a table for x squared, it would look something like this. We would have 3 squared, which is 9, 5 squared is 25, and 6 squared is 36. We would still keep the same probabilities. So if we were working out e of x squared, we would expect to do then 9 times a quarter plus 25 times 5 eighths plus 36 times 1 eighth. In other words, we would carry out this particular formula. e of x squared is the sum of x squared times its corresponding probability. Now, you wouldn't necessarily want to draw up a table like this. You should just work off your original table. So the method would be something like this. We've got e of x squared equals 3 squared, in other words, 9 times a quarter. OK, plus 5 squared times 5 eighths plus 6 squared times 1 eighth. So that's the calculation then for e of x squared, the expected value of the random variable x squared. And if you work this out, you should find you get 179 divided by 8. And you could leave it like that or you might want to turn it to a decimal in this case, it would be 22.375, but that's up to you, okay? So hopefully this is just an extension then of what you should already know, e of x. So here we've got e of x squared. And you'll be called upon in later questions to work out this value. So hopefully that puts you straight on that one.